Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today in this video being June 16th, 2020, 7.18 Eastern Standard. I'll be showing you some of the outlook of the crypto from this day forward. If you're interested in this sort of stuff, just come on over to quantlabs.net, get your free books and fill out a form to get them now. So also I am putting together a new Instagram channel, uh, Instagram.com, learn to trade like a boss. You can get all the latest there. And um, basically, let's check out what's going on in MotorWave with the latest in crypto. So one big factor, uh, hopefully you know about, is being uh, on the 16th, you can see here, these are the way to move an average among the big four coins I look at, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. You can see here being, again, the 16th of June, we had a pretty good run uh, between uh, yesterday, 10.48 a.m. till about, looked uh, like it just died off at... Uh, around six o'clock. So that's clearly a news item um, that drove that in the U.S. markets. Um, very odd timing. But it did drive up the, the, the um, crypto space quite a bit. So that would have been a good day to trade. And everything went back to normal where it's flat. Started a decline. You can see here when it declined, it went flat again. So there's really not a lot of momentum in the market for crypto. So that's where we're at. So if we hop on over into the motor wave here, I just want to show you a few um, harmonic scans here that I usually do. So these are the pairs that have come up that might have showing uh, pairs to trade. Now, one thing before I continue, um, I'm going to be shifting my portfolio or my um, accounts around in terms of exchanges. So, um, as you know, uh, my scripts are really good, um, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of money in the uh, in the crypto, uh, sorry, in the Binance exchange, but I'll be moving a, uh, a couple hundred dollars into my uh, Bitstamp account for live execution with MotorWave. So I'm going to be shifting gears towards Bitstamp. I'm not a big fan of them, but um, I have no choice. But you know, that's the only way I can live trade with Bit with uh, MotorWave. So that's the only exchange for now until hopefully later in the year, as MotorWave adds more exchanges, I'll gladly move to those exchanges to get proper um, uh, proper accounts linked up. So for now. I'll be really hobbled by what is offered in Bitstamp, but that's really all I have, as I said. So anyways, let's continue here. So we have the uh, scores here. I've looked at uh, excellent for harmonic scans right here. There's 150 to choose from. Of course, there's not a lot of options uh, when it comes to Bitstamp, but here on Coin Compare, I'll just use these for now. But I want to show you the... Uh, stark uh, differences between, let's say, yesterday and where we're at. So again, I'll just go through these charts here. So we're only working with excellent scores. So we want to see, so we're using, again, a daily chart just for now for hodling, investing. So here this looks decent. Uh, it doesn't really excite me a lot. Uh, we want to know where a target is higher than, um, you know, basically to see the target higher than the current price. Now you're going to see some issues I have with some of these coins here. You can see these crazy wicks on a four hour time frame. Um, I'm not sure if that's a lack of liquidity or if it's manipulation in the pair. But uh, this coin, I'm, I mean, it's steadily moving up, so that's pretty good. But I can't trade it anyway, so. So we have a DADI USDT, not going anywhere there. 
BAT, BTC, that one, I don't know. <laughs> That's a weird looking chart. But here we have our first major pair of uh, dash. You can see everything's pointing down there, so that's not a good sign. Now, Ethereum's an interesting one. We have here uh, some moving up since April, so this is really good. Uh, for hodling, it's definitely worthwhile. The question will be, which one will be better performance? Is it going to be Ethereum Euro, Ethereum Japanese Yen, or Ethereum USD? Right now, it may look like... Um, Ethereum Euro may give you a little bit more uh, performance. Last week it was Japanese Yen. But I think it really depends upon the, these currencies themselves. So it's going to be either Euro or Japanese Yen to give you the better, um, the better uh, performance. So here's uh, Euro, uh, Ethereum against the USD. Slight difference, but uh, I would say by the looks of it, I can always do the harmonic, uh, oh, sorry, the hertz, hertz cycle against that to see what's going on. Here we have ICX, BTC, not going anywhere. We have LSK. This one can be pretty good, but flat. Um, XMR. I mean, it is moving up, but I prefer what I saw in Ethereum. NXPS, mm, not really. QTUM. Well, this is a future contract as well. You get a move up, but it's just clearly since uh, April, it's just it's been going nowhere. So we have one called SALT, not going anywhere either. AGI, BTC, nope. Uh, let's see here. We still got excellent. We got quite a few of excellent. Uh, again, no flat. XLM. This one's people seem to be excited about. I mean, it's kind of moving up, but uh, you just got one or two bars, so this can have its moments. If if, if historical allows, um, I wouldn't be surprised. This will be moved up quite a bit. The coming days. Tron's another interesting one. Moving up, I can deal with that. And uh, I think we have waves. USD slightly moving up. And then we also have our Zcash against BTC flat. And then uh, probably Zcash against the Euro, moving up a little bit. But when you look at the best performer out of this, is definitely Ethereum against the Euro. So it's almost hitting its peak level back in February. So who knows? I think this will be an exciting coin to watch. As I said, it just depends on which you want to trade in if it's yen or the USD or in euro. Let me know what you think and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a good day.